Welcome everyone. Welcome back. It's another episode of the Liquor Store Blues. The Liquor Store Blues. We're gonna be. This is gonna be our fourth one. Um, the other three are already up. Número cuatro. You can go take a look. Is it the fourth one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the fifth. Did you do the last one? The fifth is the fourth one. Because remember the second one? Um, oh, yeah, the something, video. Some, yeah, the video didn't work or some shit. Oh, shit. All right, I, I anyway, forgot what it was. But yeah. we, we're really bad with numbers over here, <laughs> even though I'm an accountant. <laughs> it's another episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, another yeah, episode. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, man. So what's up, bro? Been? Yo, first of all, let's face a little bit this Oh, way. yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. Let, let's huh. receipt you. There we go. We receded the Mexican as everybody saw. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, you know. Yeah. Mm. Yo, some crazy shit has been happening with me, man. Fucking crazy. So remember that get that ready. ticket. It's about to get super intense. Yeah, 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 it is. So remember that ticket that I told you they pulled me over for doing 80 in 30 on Central Avenue? Oh, yeah, yeah. And that got dismissed. After, nice. after our last podcast. The shit starts going downhill with me and the cops. I mean, fucking downhill, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, I got pulled over so many times. St. Patrick's Day. <coughs> <clears throat> Had a rough day at work. So I decided to go get a ride and get a beer somewhere, some shit like that. Driving towards actually you. Oh. Uh, and I need to take a leak. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I had a beer in the car. Not very smart, ladies and gentlemen. Do not ever have a beer in the car while you're driving, sitting in the cup holder. That's just not fun. <laughs> like put it, uh, put, the, put that mouth the, in the, the trunk. Hold on, the word is stupid. It's stupid. Don't do that. Stupid, <coughs> squared, <coughs> like really dumb. Anyway, so I'm driving and I see a lot of cops, and I'm like, all right, good. Like I'm not gonna, I'm gonna pull over somewhere, probably by the res. Crack open the beer, drink it there. Fucking go back. <clears throat> As I'm stepping out of the car to take a leak on 684. So you pulled over on the mm -hmm. shoulder of mm -hmm. 684 mm -hmm. to pee. To pee. Cool. As I'm stepping out of the car, I see another car in the right lane starting to slow down. I'm like, oh, shit, cops. <clears throat> oh, what time of the day was this? It was at night. Okay. So probably, I want to say like 9.30 <laughs> at night. St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, cops. <laughs> I reach inside, I grab the beer, toss it out the window. And as as I'm tossing it out, the lights come on. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm like I'm like, oh, but just just the lights without the spotlight. Right? Just the oh. the, the sirens. How oh, kind of. And then the spotlight the comes on. Is, yeah. and I'm like, okay, keys on top, blah, blah, blah. Good evening, good evening. Have you had any alcohol to <laughs> <Good> drink? <evening. laughs> yeah, it was State Trooper Rodriguez and her buddy. I forgot his name. He was a piece of shit. But What was he, a piece of shit? You listen to the story. Oh, my bad. So I'm like, I don't, want, I, I don't wish to discuss my day with you. And then her boy... Comes through the other side. He's like, well, sir, you know, why did you pull over? I'm like, because I wanted to take a leak right there. He's like, well, why didn't you answer her question if you had any alcohol tonight? I was like, well, because I don't want to discuss my day. He's like, okay, step out of the vehicle. I'm going to do some sobriety check. So they do the flashlight in your face with follow the pen bullshit. Mm, yeah. I do that. <laughs> then she's like... Walk in a straight line. The problem is where, where I had pulled over, there was a slight incline on the shoulder. Okay. I am looking at him like, you want me to walk a straight line on an incline? Like, are you fucking kidding me right now? She's like, yeah, yeah, do the best you can. So I do that shit. 
And then the last one where I was like, you guys are just fucking with me. They made me lift my hand, I mean, lift my leg up and start counting 1001, 1002 until they told me to stop. After 20, I just put my foot down. I was like, you guys are fucking with me right now. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like I told you, I didn't have a, like, like I didn't have any alcohol. They blew me twice, not twice, six times with two different straws. And I'm like, six times? Six times. And I'm like, yo, like, he's like, why don't you just tell us about your day? This and I'm like, dude, I work and I work with computers. Like, I haven't had a drink. Like, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> He's like, well, if you pass this last one, this last blow test, he, he goes, I'm going to allow you to take a leak over there. I'm like, okay. I pass it. Fucking went out and took a leak right in front of them while they were waiting for me. <laughs> Fuck them. But here's what happened. <laughs> here's what happened. They never gave me back my driver's license. What do you mean? That's exactly what I mean. They so you, you you don't have your driver's license right now? No, no, no. I do now. How'd you get it back? Well, I, I ordered a replacement. But they never gave me back my driver's license. Which brings me <laughs> to the other occasion that I got pulled over. Two days later, <laughs> as I'm telling the, stories, the story to my boys in Jersey, in his house, having a few drinks, <clears throat> when I leave... Whoop, whoop. Hmm. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> They're like, you know why I'm pulling you over? No clue. You were speeding. He was like, you're doing 15 or 30. I'm like, okay. He goes, license, registration, and insurance, please. And I'm like, officer, I can like give you my license. I lost it. But here's my registration. That's my name. That's where I live. Anything so he gave me a ticket for driving without a license. I go to court on the fifth. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> gets better. I'm telling you, it just gets better and better and better. Mm. I go to court on the fifth. Good day, good day. They're like court <laughs> sessions are over Zoom. Day. What? Court sessions are over Zoom. I'm like <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so on the ticket, it doesn't show, it doesn't tell you where you can plead guilty or not. It just tells you show up at court on this date at this time. So even on the ticket, it didn't say it's via Zoom. Nope. So when I got to the courthouse, my court was at one. I got there twelve forty five. Okay. And the lady tells me, "Oh yeah, no, they they take your email and." They send you a link with the Zoom two days before. But I'm like, nobody did nothing like that. She's like, okay, they're going to schedule your court date. So I drove to Jersey <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> I'm like, okay. You think, that, you think the week cannot get any worse? Oh, shit, bro. Sounds oh, fun. No, 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 no. It can get worse. It's a good week. So I parked. When I came back, I parked at a place. Where my car was probably like two feet in, no parking zone. Okay. And I'm like, all right, cool. But, but Usually they it, don't give. Was it like a meter parking you parked in or just. No, like no, no, street parking. S- got it. But you know how they have in the signs in New York City and they say like no, no yeah, parking yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. the arrow? Yeah. <clears throat> so you were over that. Line. Yeah, so I was about like <clears throat> two feet in, like the okay. ass of my car, and I drive a GTI. Right. So MK6 GTI, you will see it. So the ass of my car was in that no parking. Right. Like thing, the the rest of the car was in you know proper parking spot. I'm like, okay, you know, I park there overnight. Next day, I come back. I look at the car, and get a cigarette to smoke. Nothing. Everything is cool. It was about one o'clock. At five, I come back downstairs. I have a ticket. I'm like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> Got a ticket. I mean, what can you do? Yeah, I can't do shit. Yeah, Yeah, it's a thing. Like, but then somebody had hit my car and bounced, (laughs) and I'm like, (laughs) same day you got a ticket. Yep. 
Hold on, hold on. Which car hit you? Was it? Did you park too tight on, on another car? And then no, 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 no. I was the last you. car. Somebody was making a turn. They just hit my bumper. They dented my bumper. You're going to see it outside, man. Fuck. It's like. Damn, dude. Yo, for real. That's that's a that's a fun week. It's, <laughs> I'm telling you. It's I like, would I would have suggested not pulling over in 684 and taking a leak. Just you that know, one suggestion, the other ones seem to be out of your hands. Yo, no, like, never, ever again. <laughs> I actually stopped driving there. Oh, I think you made me stop driving. So driving where? 684? Yeah, fuck that shit. Ain't getting where in 684? Over. It was before your exit, but it was a few miles. Like, I still had probably a good, like, 10 miles before the mm. rest stop. Mm. And I just needed to take a leak. Right. But I was uh, so lucky. It's funny because um, when 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 I'm when I'm driving uh, home, like once I'm on six eighty four, I feel safe. So weird. It's like I need to get I need to get off of two eighty seven. Like I need to leave. Like I don't feel safe in the Bronx River sawmill. Really? Like when I get to six eighty four, I'm like, oh. Okay. <sighs> that's the one I hate the most. Probably. That's that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. That's, no, that's so one. funny. That's like my fit. My it's like because yeah. they pull you over so. They either pull you over on 684 or they pull yeah. you over on the 22. The, I've, the I've one that not, you I've for, been, I've been, I've, I've been, I've been pretty lucky. Um, but I, but I also, like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I love being in the car with you because you fucking book it. <laughs> so, like, sometimes when you get pulled over, I'm like, well, of course you did. But, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, like, but I'm, I was I'm just a, trying to take a leak. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Oh, you, when you gotta go, you gotta go, but yeah. yo, like I was holding it too, man. Yeah, but then you gotta do a fucking two hours later. You're still doing a sobriety test that that can't be fun. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm like they were so yo, pissed can off. I get okay. one of these guys? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hit me <clears throat> up too. This is delicious. Oh, the Mexican doesn't know the dimensions of his body, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I can say. The what? I said the Mexican doesn't know the dimensions of his body. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll be, be confusing myself. Here. Right here, right here. Yeah. Huh? Professional. Yeah, you never know when work is going to call you up. <laughs> Yeah, Actually, man. Let me pull some shit up because, like, I've been. Oh, so um, let's talk about the CPA shit real quick. And then I got to talk about losing friends because. Losing friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you losing? Lost a friend. I'll tell you the story. Oh, shit, all right. I was going to. I had saved some articles. You know, I'm starting to do that. Like, I'm trying to, like, keep our, keep our dumbasses current. Meaning, like, bring it up in the in the cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How but, about the that Minnesota police sh police shooting another black person? What? Another one? <laughs> when? Where? Somewhere in Brooklyn, Minnesota. Oh, was it like this Brooklyn? I feel no, like I would have heard of it. No. Wait, uh, what? 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 what happened? Yesterday or two days ago? <laughs> Damn, son. Did I give you your beer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, salute, wait. Yo, cheers, man. How do you say? How do you say way in Bulgarian? Or uh, depends on which region you come from. Yours. Mina. Mina. Mm -hmm. All right. Mina. Cheers, Mina. Orale, Mina. <laughs> I like it. Mm. But yeah. Oh, so the CPA results came <clears throat> back. Dope. Um, I failed with a sixty-five, which is way better than what I thought I was gonna get. Sweet. All right. And the passing score is 75. So <sighs> next time I'm sitting, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be passing that motherfucker. Hell yeah, bro. Like, You've been at it. Yeah, yeah. Minute, we're man. actually. Good, good shit. Yo, but yeah, so that and uh, on more current topic, uh, the shooting of the six Asian ladies and the two white people and the uh, Hispanic guy. <clears throat> Was it five Asian ladies? Whatever. The. What happened in Virginia or Georgia was it? Oh, oh, with the guy that, with the um the tanning places or something. Mm -hmm. 
no, that's the what, massage that, places. The massage the mas- places. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so a friend of mine, well, ex friend of mine, I guess, she had posted that um, video of Trevor Noah and his take on it, and how that was like super racist and this and that. Mm. And I was like, I was thinking, I'm like, you know what? I cannot really call it racist because Mm. here's my explanation. First, he stated that the killer stated that there is no racial motivation behind and it was purely the fact that there were whorehouses. And there were. I mean, if you go on road maps, Mm. which is like happy ending places, right? Those places are on those websites. So they were clearly uh, I don't, I don't know. they were they were clearly prostitutes. I mean like there's no right the second thing is he also killed two white people. Which if it was racially motivated that shouldn't happen. There's there's nothing. I mean like um I I I, I know I know a little bit about this. Um that had he mentioned that um he hated Asian people? Nope. He said they were catering to my sex addiction. That's why I killed them. Oh, yeah. Wait, wasn't this the guy who was like fucking um, like super religious or some shit? I don't know if he was yeah, religious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like, he, he, he yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he felt like it was a sin that what they were doing. Yeah, so yeah, he yeah. fucking like went bananas and did the godly thing and fucking slaughtered people. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, you know, that's just crazy. But they said that it's racially motivated, and he's saying that it's not. And looking at the. I mean, as long as those people get justice, man. Because, like, I, you know, I, fucking the, the, way, the way stories are, are portrayed, you know, in, in the news, it gets, it gets so convoluted, you know, that don't know whether they're being biased or unbiased, but no, that was a terrible tragedy. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know enough. Like if there's evidence that the guy did it because they were, you know, Asian people, then fuck, you know, fuck them. Like no racism. Sucks. No, the only evidence is that there were more Asians killed than any other race. And there were two other races killed. Oh in that. man. If they're, if, I mean like if, if this story is becoming that instead of it just being a terrible tragedy, um that's fucked up because that's there's there's also like it paints a picture that there aren't um asian attacks you know like there actually are some asian yeah. people getting attacked a like, lot of them w- right we, we don't need to fucking fabricate a fucking story can we just say that this is a fucking terrible tragedy and let's not insert whatever so, the fuck is happening in the bubble so you know this what is saying? what happened right and and my friend had posted that video you know, I, but again, if we if we have the evidence that it, it was racially motivated, then mm-hmm. okay, cool. But just you know, and I'm there, and I'm like, you know what? Like, not for nothing, but I cannot really say that it is a racially motivated attack. And she was like, you know what? You're talking to an Asian lady during a time where Asians are being attacked and discriminated against. Blah blah blah. And I was like, look, not saying any of that. I'm not saying that. Asians are not being attacked constantly right now, especially in New York. What I'm saying is that this specific killing was not racially motivated. And also, these specific places are human trafficking. And I don't know what the fuck he's doing saying that it's racially motivated, but I don't even know what the fuck you're posting. Hmm. Like, you're reposting that shit. And she goes to me, she's like, well, you know, it's very strange that... uh, Every, that when it comes to race, uh, everybody of color in your life has to call you out about your opinions, including Kareem, which was the friend that I talked about the previous podcast where he got upset because I oh, posted that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, be, for, um, for the like history. Yeah. So, and I'm like, no. I told her, shut up. I was like, no. It's only you two that call me out. Nobody else in my friend circle, my family circle, ever calls me out on racial shit because, like, I actually provide explanation of what why I'm having this point of view. 
It's right, it, right, and it's not, and it's not like you're stubborn that you you're not willing yeah. to not change your mind. And you know? and then she was like, "Well, if that's the case, because if you if you weren't able to change your mind, then we we can't be friends." Exactly. <laughs> you, you, exactly. Know, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Like that's that's just like, bro, no, like the ideas need to fucking fluctuate. You know? Exactly. They, 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 they evolve. So. She was like, well, if, you know, we call you out because we care, blah, blah, blah. But if that hurts your feelings, then I guess we will just stop. Commi- no, what did she say? She said something along the lines like, then maybe it's time for, like to not talk. Al- along those lines. I really she don't broke up any- with you? Well, she didn't break up with me. But <laughs> no, but you yeah, know in a way, <laughs> In a way, it was like, oh, yeah. Dang. And I'm like, yeah. you know what? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. Like, I... I I do care, but at the same time, I, I, like, what's what's like, so, what was her point of view? Well, her point of view is that that was racist, because. right? Because it was a white dude who killed six Asian women or five Asian women, and those other people. But here's the thing: when that black dude <laughs> fucking Sparta kicked the Asian lady, yo, oh, bro, <laughs> yo, no, she didn't even mention it. And I'm like, like, what the fuck? Like, that's the most racist shit. Or how about the other time where some other black dude fucking beat to Pope some Asian guy screaming. She didn't post that either. And I'm like, Mm. fucking racist. (laughs) Like, you have, (laughs) you don't like white people. Oh, man. And that's fucked up. That's Because, like, you cannot judge people based on the skin of their color. Such a... The color of their skin. Jesus fucking skin Christ. Of their color. <laughs> the skin of the their skin color. The skin of their color. Ooh, oh, that's, that's so poetic. <laughs> it the is, skin it is. of my color. Um, <laughs> nah, it's, I mean, it's, it's a very, it is a very interesting time to be alive, you know, for ideas. Um, yeah, you like, think like, so? like, 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 yeah, no, of course, yeah, fuck yeah. Because, like, really? is, is there, is there really an inherent bias with people not wanting to post? Um, like that, what you just said, like, is it just jumping into this indivi- specific individual. Um, I, I, I don't know, you know, I'm not trying to talk shit at all. You know, I'm just trying to discuss the idea. If if people only post things that fit their narrative. Oh, by then, the way, she also told me that I might be in an echo chamber. Oh, shit. Yeah. Am I an echo? <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Or let me let, chamber. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 let me test it. Hello. 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 Yeah, you're an echo. Uh, <laughs> Damn. <no. laughs> and we're in a chamber, so this is an echo chamber, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, man. Like, so that happened too, and I was like, and that, like, all of this happened since our last last podcast. Oh yeah, that's cool, bro. That's good. And it's like, That's good. what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Interesting life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting lives. But, so yeah, man, like, I don't know. I've never had an issue with people. I had, I've always had an issue with the way people are, though. With who? What? What people are? Mm-hmm. So, for example, like, I never had an issue with a person because of of their existence. Right, mm. I always had an issue with the way they think, though. So, for oh, example, I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but I feel like that's what matters, you know. That's the only thing that matters. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's like I don't care if people. You, know, cause you live your life, man. But like, you start saying some dumb shit. You know, don't I mean, say, even though don't dumb, dumb shit, shit could be quite funny. Yeah, if you know, it's just dumb shit to be funny, and not oh shit, it's speaking the truth, you know. But the truth most of, most of the time is funny as fuck though. <laughs> like yeah, you gotta no, admit. Right. Yeah, no, yeah. You, <laughs> you, gotta you, admit. you don't gotta make it up. Yeah. So like for example, that's what I was thinking when you were like, Oh, if you cannot change your mind, you cannot be my friend. Well then what about Stan? Right? Because he did change his mind. <laughs> like yeah. we're not saying um, we're not saying that he changed it in a better way. We're saying that he did change his mind. All, all, so does all it mean I'm that saying, he can, so, so does it mean that he could be your friend? No. Stan, <laughs> like, no. No, what's what's funny what's what's funny is that who he is online and who he is in real life is very different. 
he oh, is, like Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, yeah, like he's he's still like re, you know like reasonable, and he wants to like have a conversation and shit. But then, and there'll be moments where he's like, you know, will show be uncomfortable because like you know he doesn't have an argument or like something, but like, and then he's like really confident when he's right, which is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's able to change his mind in conversation. But in fucking posts, there's no getting <laughs> no. through. There's just no getting through. <laughs> no. Because then this motherfucker just jumps into jokes. And then just... And then, and then, and then, yeah, so like like mid-serious conversation, he'll just like jump into a joke and then say another joke and then go back to being serious. He's like, bro, what are you... So you're just saying things. You know I don't miss you're Facebook a, you're, at you're, all. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, like... At all. No, he doesn't tag me in shit anymore as much. But as, as much, as, no, 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 <laughs> like he no, doesn't no, tag no, me no. shit anymore as much. No, like, no, no, but it's, it, no, but no, 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 but it's still not. I, I'd, I'd say like maybe once a month, like any climate change article that he'll stumble upon. I tell you this, he'll tag me on that. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, climate changes. Huh? Yeah. It's like, bro, <laughs> like, he's just going to use the same argument over and over again. It's just, but what's his argument? Like I, I never understood his argument. Uh, it's basically it, it ain't real. Just, um, just I'll say that because he confuses uh, the weather for the climate. Um, he, he 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 can't read charts. Um, like seriously, bro. Like, Wait, so haven't you figured out how to explain it to him? <laughs> You know how many times I thought I was close? <laughs> All right, let me tell you something. If you cannot figure out the difference between weather and climate, you got to put it in the context that a person, a reformed Jew like him, can understand. And here's the context. Weather is you, the single Jew. Climate is all of the Jews all over the world. Yo! <coughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, why did that just make so much sense? Because <laughs> it does. That's how he's going to understand. Oh, my God. Like, oh, man. <laughs> like, you got to put it into terms that, <laughs> that that a person can understand. And, you know, sometimes, like, shit happens and it works out. Oh, man. Cheers to that. That was, Cheers, that was that's good. fucking hilarious. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. Yo, 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 that's one of the things. Fucking, do you know anything about this deep fake shit? Like, you know, like apparently this like um, people like can cre- recreate your face and your um, voice, yeah, and somebody yeah. else and shit. Apparently, there was. Did you hear about the fucking uh, f- uh, female Twitter chick who like ended up being a fifty-year-old dude? <laughs> <laughs> No. Yo, could you imagine? Can you fucking imagine? You like talking to you know you talking to like your crush or some shit, and you find out it's some dude. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Talk yeah. about like new way to verify shit. <laughs> like, oh my god, yeah, dude, that shit was hilarious. Let me see. I was, oh, I think it's like Japanese. <laughs> that is hilarious. Really <laughs> shit. <laughs> 50 year old bro 50 <laughs> Yo, Yo, man. bro i'm like you know i'm all for discovery and learning and uh, you know like just like, fucking exploration and shit but dude this is like some of this shit is like it's, I've it's seen scary, it. Scary, but it's like so cool at the same time. You know Dude, what I'm saying? So I've seen it in real life. What? One of my gay friends, hmm. his buddy is this tiny Asian dude okay. with long hair. When I tell you long hair, longer than yours. Like, For Halloween. I'm back. Like, no. For Halloween, <laughs> he dressed up as a sailor girl. Like one of them anime seller girls, mm. people were losing it. People were fucking losing, and and I'm like, like what do you mean dudes, the th- yo, like like they were getting upset. No, oh, they were not even knowing shit. that she oh. was a he. 
because he was wearing a skirt, mm. you know, the the stockings. Were you, were, you, were you also losing it? No, I knew I knew who he was, <laughs> uh, but also I was like, "Yo, <laughs> in that in that wild, yeah." So I don't, uh, you know, I'm not really surprised, <laughs> <laughs> dude. That's no, that's funny. Yeah, man, like the 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 era, you know. Um, it's it still it still boggles my mind where um that I don't know if that show's still on. Uh, uh, Rebecca's obsessed with that shit with fucking uh catfish. I don't know if that's just yeah, still a yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It was like, yo, how how are you still getting catfish? Oh, for real, how do you still like, get the catfish? It's like. No, I understand cheated in real life, but <laughs> like this motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah. like catfished. No, but you know what, man? Like, actually, I know somebody that lost their job over a catfish. What the fuck? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So she was working. She was working with me, and not in my team, but. We're, we're sharing the same floor. I went to Bulgaria and came back and like she was gone. I was like, oh, what the fuck happened? So I started talking to people and the gossip was that somebody catfished her, made her take out a company credit card, charged something like Twenty or thirty thousand dollars on that credit card, and she went to her boss and she was like, "I'll pay for it." And he, he was like, "No, yep." And I'm like, "What?" But she was also a reformed Christian, or new newborn, reborn Christian, something uh-huh. like that. So yeah, <laughs> there's still people Damn. out there that do that oh. shit. Uh, how, 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 how that happened over how a day? That, that, that she was a friend of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spoke to her afterwards, and she was she she admitted it. Damn. And that's why, like, she was like thirty thousand oh, dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why, because we were talking, and she was like, "Yeah, it's really hard dating right now." And I'm like, "Oh, what's up?" She was like, "Well, I don't want to have I don't want to have sex before marriage anymore." Mm. She was like, "That should burn me big time." And she found a dude. So I'm like, yes. okay. Yeah. Good for her, man. He proposed after a year. Wow. Yeah, people be doing that shit. Of dating. Yeah, because well, yeah, they want to bang. <laughs> 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 like, he's already divorced. She cannot have That's children. So he's like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I just want to bang. Like Tomorrow? Yeah, you know. I definitely think that will have sped up marriage for me. <clears throat> if, I, if if I wasn't allowed to bang before marriage, are you kidding me? <laughs> Woo. Either that or syphilis. I, I don't see any <laughs> other options. Oh, shit. Live your, best, like, live your best life, bro. <laughs> like, I support you. <laughs> see that or syphilis. Yo, like, I was watching those uh, the new Netflix, the pirate shit. Pirate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Blackbeard, man, I don't know if you heard about him, but he was like a famous pirate, pirate in the Caribbean. Like I think Jack Sparrow is sort of type of based off, based him? off of him. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, so he had syphilis. Okay. But what he used to do is light, like put fuses on his beard and then light them. And so all of a sudden he had this like fucking animal. Just coming at you with like fuses out of his beard, just like sparkling and shit. Fucking dope ass shit. But he had syphilis. And apparently one of the side effects of syphilis is you lose your marbles. <laughs> hold on, so, wait, hold on, so, hold on. Hold on, let's go back. You said he put he would he would do what? He would let his beard on fire? No, he would put fuse okay. on his beard okay. and light the fuse. Okay. The slow burning fuses yeah, back yeah. in the day. And then he would go and he would shoot motherfuckers while this shit is on his beard. That's fucking wild. Yo. <laughs> Just light as shit. And his beard never caught fire. Mm-hmm. Not, not, at least in the movies, they did not. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, 
In real life, I don't know. I didn't know the oh, motherfucker. Oh is, oh, is this a movie or is this like a biography? This is this is something like um, a cross between fantasy and documentary. It's like those reenactments oh, of historical events. Right, right, right. Like, for example, the Spanish uh, when the Spanish crashed on the coast of uh, Florida, mm-hmm. there was like a shit ton of gold and shit, and like they. They were the first one to make their own republic that was democratic with voting where everybody, no matter their skin color, uh, had the equal vote. That's how the ships were run. Like they actually chose their captain by vote. That's interesting. Like super fucking democratic, man. Holy shit, dude. What? They were nasty. Nasty with a big N in front of it. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, like, I was like, oh, shit, these motherfuckers were just fucking killing, taking names. <laughs> they were just super, fucking shit up. And, and Yeah, but at the yeah. same time, they were, like, so nice about it. <laughs> <laughs> if you were part of them, you, you know, you got to vote. Holy shit. Like, Everybody's voice is heard. Yeah. yeah. Like, how, like, back in the day, we're talking about, like, the 1700s, maybe. That's bananas. These, these people just, like, going in the sea. You know, like in the that countries. was that was the frontier, man. Like, like the motherfuckers are gonna go to Mars right now. Like, what, flag, what flag is that? I, I mean, I it, don't know. It, no, but it has a thing. What do they call it? A fucking anchor. I don't know. Count the stars. If it's thirteen, it's the thirteen colonies. Uh, but I ain't about counting right now. I do that shit is. for a living. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it here. They are thirteen. So there you go, the Navy power of the 13 colonies, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's cool. another thing I started watching, man. Turn. What's Turn? It's on Netflix, too. It's a... Uno, uh, dos, tres. It's... Okay, so we learned how to Spanish, count to Spanish, 19 Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. in Spanish. 20 way, come on. Oh, no, I didn't hear you say... It? Maya? What'd you say? Ma- Maya? What, what's what yours? Maya? No, what's yours? For what? Your way. Oh, Mina. Mina, Mina, Mina. Yeah, Mina. There you go. See. <laughs> getting that, getting that weight. Yeah. So. So. That. That turn shit is also pretty, pretty cool to watch. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what, what's that about? The Revolutionary War. I actually, spies up in the Revolutionary War. Spies? Yeah. Wow. Nowadays, man, I think that... What were spies like back then? You know, I feel like... Yeah, same shit, just regular people. I feel, I feel like a spy necessarily needs the technology and all that shit to be a proper spy. No, you just need information. I don't know, right. No, that's what I'm saying. It's like, so I feel like to be a spy back then must have been a lot more intricate and shit. You know? No, they were just regular folks, man. They were just regular folks like you and I. I'm telling you they were better back then. You shut your face. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, they were not. They were killing left and right. Like, dude, back in the day, back in the day, you got shot. good guys, man. 007 taught me that. Depending on who. Yeah, but see, that's for the queen and shit. Actually, Archer has taught me that. (laughs) (laughs) Isis. Oh, I feel great. Oh, Dude, just... oh my god, I fucking love that show. <laughs> I think it got trashy towards the end. I think like I don't think I, fi- the... I, don't, I don't I don't think I finished the the seasons. I think I only the... got as far as like four or five. Yeah, yeah, those are the good ones. Mm-hmm. Like by eight, the writing falls off. They just mm-hmm. like run out of things to to joke to, about to, and to stuff. write about, and it's like really like. Hmm. I mean, sometimes. Should... I don't know. I can't imagine. It's probably hard to to stay funny that long, you know. It's like The Simpsons, but then again, The Simpsons. Yo, The Simpsons. South really... Park. <sighs> no, it's, no, The Simpsons, bro. How long have they been on the air? Some, I don't know. Like a hundred years now. <laughs> Something <laughs> since I've been alive. Yeah. Give or take a few years. Yeah. It's. Uh, I'm pretty sure The Simpsons is the longest running show. Right. Yeah. Google Bob, motherfucker. Google it. So it's The Simpsons, Gunsmoke, Law and Order, and South Park. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
South Park is the shit. They just keep being funny. Yeah, man. What are they, sixth grade now? You know, I stopped watching it a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure they still the same grade. No, no, no. Really? How, they have they been growing up? <clears throat> they did grow up a little bit, yeah. They look the same. It was like fourth grade, then it was that turbocharge. Yeah, whatever. So what, like every every grade lasts like three years. <laughs> every grade lasts five years. That's a good Something plan. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Holy crap! I mean, there's always shit going down in South Park. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like it's not exactly a boring town. Oh man, dude! What my favorite episode is when fucking Cartman gets um like like humiliated by uh by this bigger kid you know he keeps like cartman just can't get around him and like this kid just keeps like fucking making fun of cartman like through the whole episode and then at the end of the episode cartman uh challenges him on making a, a chili mm-hmm. eating contest you've seen this episode Mm-mm. so you know whatever make the chili blah blah they're sitting across from each other um <laughs> Long story short, fucking Cartman managed for his parents to get shot and get chopped into meat, and he used the meat in the bowl of chili and fed it to, to the their other. kid. So he Cartman made this motherfucker eat his parents. Damn, that's dark. <laughs> Yo, Damn. that shit is fucking bananas. Yeah, it's Dude, right. it's like the whole episode. Because, you know, Cartman always gets away with shit. Like, he's just a little fucking prick. So, like, the whole episode, you're like, it's kind of funny because he just, he keeps getting bitched out. Um, but at the same time, you're like, it's Cartman. So, but, you know, so it was like... And then at the very end when he does this shit, like he fucking starts licking his fucking tears and shit. And he's like, oh, mm, it tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. No, fucking South Park is the tits, bro. And another funny one was the one with the testicular cancer. For the oh, weed. with the weed? <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo soldier walking around with the fucking, what do you call them shits? The... The wheelbarrows? The wheelbarrows, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, they were bouncing on them. <laughs> that oh, was yeah, the yeah, they were also bouncing on them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's get free weed. You know, the things that you do for free weed. <laughs> what would you do it's for fucking, free it's weed? It's fucking legal. I, I mean, know. I mean, I don't know. It depends. Yo, so the other day, I ate... Um, I'm not I'm not that desperate for weed. <laughs> the, the other day, I ate um, an edible, yeah. 225 milligrams. Woo. Woo. Did, you, did you take a nice nap? <laughs> Fuck that. What'd you do? Just watched shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, what'd you watch? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, ooh, that, that Saturday nice. was a baller. Like, Excellent. I think my girlfriend and I were supposed to go out and see a movie. That got canceled. How do you know? Because I think. Because I remember <laughs> telling her to cancel it. I was like, wait, like I'm going with nowhere. Maybe, but maybe she convinced you you actually went to see it. You don't remember. No, 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 definitely not. All right. Put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't that stunned. But like, holy shit, man. And is that Jersey weed too? Because right now in Jersey, they don't have the caps yet. So they have a chocolate bar. What do you mean they don't have the caps? <clears throat> so usually they cap it out like... The amount of uh, THC you can have in oh. in an edible. Because, like, Ooh. dude, back in the day, I mean, yo. They're, like, like strong, I, strong right now. I, 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 I wish that I can turn back the clock. And the second we became legal in Cali, mm-hmm. just went there and bought edibles because they were... Like legitimately trying to put you into space. Oh, that's We're awesome. talking about like I like space. <clears throat> I know for sure there was a thousand milligram thing called Death Star. I'm in space. I'm in space. <laughs> oh wait, there's no echoes in space. I'm, I'm the exactly. In space. Yeah. Can do shit in space. 
So they had 2,000 milligram edible. Dang. All right. I forgot how that's called. But the 1,000 milligram, the Death Star, Joey Diaz mm. was dosing motherfuckers with that without telling them. So he'd be like, yeah, yeah, it's candy. It's like, it has like 20 grams of weed or some shit. Are you serious? You've just given it to people. <laughs> That's fucking fucking awesome. on a podcast. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, at one point, like there was a dude that just fell asleep. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Yo. It's it's so on the, it's on the it's on the interwebs. It's on the interwebs. Perfect. And he, now uh, on his uh old one, the church of what's happening now. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So, well, his new one is Uncle Joey's joint. Yeah, yeah. But so a little bit one. of that with uh, Bill Burr. Yeah, yeah. He's good. He's good. Um, definitely, I, I don't know. I kind of stopped listening to him, to be honest. Joe Diaz? Yeah. Mm. And the reason for it, it's when he moved to Jersey, he changed a bit. In what way? What do you mean? So... You know what? Let me Is let me tell you different? before before I make a full judgment. I think I have to really see his stand up first, because now that he's in the environment that he did all the stories, they must like there's a certain change. I don't know, I don't and know who you're about. What, what, what? well, well, li- listen to the church of what's happening now, and then listen to the new episodes of the. Uncle Joey's joint. And okay. you would see that like, he had a certain chemistry with Lee that Lee's absence is... V- oh, he had a, he had like a friend. Yeah, so he had like... Um, like, uh, like, a, like like Joey's, Joe and yeah. fucking... Young, young Jamie. Jamie, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like Joey and young Jamie. Mm-hmm. Well, 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 maybe this is Joe, different because of, you know, the COVID shit. I, I well he moved he moved to Jersey because of COVID, but yeah, it's, it's just September. the absence of that, that extra Lee time. Sayed. Fucking like it's so obvious because like mm. he like sometimes he would drag on Lee, but sometimes he would give him like really good sound advices, especially in like stand up comedy and shit. And now those are just gone, and I think that changed the whole perspective of the podcast. Oh well, well, I I wonder I wonder if he did that on purpose because like they're not named the same, right? One of them, yeah, they're not, them is, they're not. Yeah, so so to him, it's just a separate pot. He's a separate thing. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Hopefully, I mean, we'll yeah. see. Yeah, 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 we shall see. That's one thing I miss, man. Fucking go to go the comedy shows. Mm. I was thinking about doing an open mic, just for shits and giggles. You should. Yeah, why not? Uh, you should, I like you should write, you should write some material. That's that's yeah. what I started doing actually. Yeah, like I just started writing down ideas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get a fucking you know, get a fucking outline, bro. You know, a nice, nice plan. Fuck the nine to five. Fuck the nine to five, man. Fuck it. Mm. Yeah. Pays the bills though. You know, see, that's, that, that's that's the that's the fucking uh, trade off, man. So isn't that the, the the funny thing is like. When you have to chase something and you have to give something up, and the fact that you have to give that security blanket up, that nine to five security blanket that you know that it's guaranteed that if you don't fuck up, you would have an income. But trying to get to that point where it's like your work is what gives you your income. Right. So weird. It's really weird to me, man. Like, and you know what? With that close thing to the CPA, because that's the closest I've gotten to passing the C- the, the the part. And I'm like, oh shit! Like, if I put a little bit more work, then I'll succeed. Right. And that goes back to that weird feeling where you were like, you know what? I'm not failing. Like I'm, in a way, taking over, uh, but you're also getting the 
responsibility for that. So, in a way, you are going into a Zen zone. Have you ever had one of those, like those Zen zones where you're like, you're working towards a goal and then you're like, you know what, fuck it, this is what I'm doing. So this is what the goal requires and this is what I'm doing. And you, no matter how much it sucks, you do it because it has to be done. Um, that's kind of where I'm trying to get at, you know. Um, can't say I necessarily... I mean, I want yes, because that's how I felt when I, when I was putting out colors, like it's like I just needed to to do this, and then getting that was like a way like this high. That all right. I like this. I need to, in order for me to be able to do this more, to be able to do things that I enjoy doing, mm -hmm. I, I need to leave <laughs> what's fucking eating up my fucking time, you know? You know, I'm coming to the same realization. You know, it's like... I'm like, yo, 10 years and nothing. Bro. You know, I mean, I wanna... okay, let, let, me, let me rephrase it. Not nothing. Right. But not where I want to be. Right, are you are you willing to die there? Fuck no. That's 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 what and that's the kind drive. Of, yeah, that and that's kind of fucking where where it it struck me. And I'm like, all right, I need to. Okay, I almost felt like a person trying to jump from an airplane, you know, like with my parachute, of course. And I just keep, you know, like, oh, no, no, no. But like, what if it doesn't? I was like, I gotta fucking jump. I'm, yeah. So yeah. this is me jumping right now. You know, <laughs> I get guys. Scary as fuck. Though, Yo, man. holy shit! Um, but it's the wind feels nice on my face. You Did know? you give them a notice yet? Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. The fifteenth, May fifteenth. Oh that's nice. The last day. Yeah. Oh shit. Yo, yeah. that's right. We hadn't spoken since. No. No. no, no. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Fucking give my notice, bro. Um, I give them till May fifteenth, just so that you know he can get his um, the business straight. Just because I'm a manager. Yeah, yeah, you, know? yeah. you want to leave it on the good terms. Founders. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, yeah, so no, that it's a, it's a done deal, yo, broski. Nice. Told you. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm still uh, figuring things out, but it's awesome. If you had to go back to serving, would it be back in somewhere here in Westchester? Or would it be back in the city? Or but, um, like, what are you willing to do? Because you know what I was thinking? An easy way to make money. And I think you would fit perfectly right in there. Cadding in country clubs. Cadding? What is that? Those people that carry the fucking... Mm -hmm. They carry the clubs. And it's not hard work. You have to know a little bit about golf, which is a game that you can quick to pick up on. And you no. make about $150 per carry. So you do two carries a day. It's 300 bucks plus tip. That's not a bad idea. It's nothing to, nothing to consider. That's what I was thinking. That's like my plan B, man. I'm starting to get into that golf shit. I, I watched the Masters yesterday. Fuck yeah. Just to... Just to get like pick up a feel on like what it needs to be done. Yeah. See, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to, basically, um, the moves I need to make, I need to make them now. So the thing is that I'm trying to just transition into like I'm like I'm willing to do like I said like back in the re in the restaurant, mm -hmm. but and the restaurant, <laughs> restaurant, and the restaurant. Uh, in the restaurant, but I just want to be behind the scenes. I don't want to. I, I don't want to fucking talk to anybody. Like I'm, I'm willing to fucking just be a fucking bus or buser expo, which is like somebody the expo, somebody that just gets the plates from the chef and all that mm -hmm. shit. Um, but like, I'm not trying to talk to people. Like I'm not trying to serve. I don't want to interact because I need those mental faculties. Like I, like, I just want to be a, basically a robot wherever I am because it's only going to be like super temporary because most of my mind 
Like, I'm going to be stressed. Uh-huh. But with other shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I just need a place to go and fucking, you know, no thought. I don't, you know. No thought, easy money. Yeah, just in and out. Um, so the plan is to... Uh, so um, I don't, I don't want to travel much, so mm-hmm. I'm going to start hitting the places around me first. Um, I went to check out uh, the place with my, where um, um, one of my homies works at in uh, in Kisco yesterday. So I was like, all right, you know. But I, but like, there's a thing about the the restaurant industry is that it's like fucking. It's easy to get in. Um, Especially when you do the job, uh, so and they're always hiring. What about a delivery person while you're doing the Uber as well? So that's so so like that will help you learn the streets and yeah. So so that so that um the thing about the thing about the Uber and Lyft is that that that's the one that's going to require more work, more expense. So um, Um, my first thing is going to be to try to do something in the, re- the restaurant just because it's easy, easy transition. I don't got to fucking think about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Uber, uh, basically got to trade in the car. Um, I'm, I may be overthinking it. I feel like I've never... Have you ever treated a car before? Yeah. What is it? What is it? What happens? What, what is it? What do you have to it do? gets screwed most of the time. Mm. You'd be better off selling it and then buying the, the other car, the money. Mm. How how are you screwed? They'll t- they'll give you a lower price. So let's say your car is worth three thousand dollars. So all right, let's say five thousand dollars. They'll give you like twenty five hundred. Oh, you know that's money you're not seeing. So right, fuck that. I mean, it's I easy. Know. You're paying for the ease. Right, 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 right. But I just think that you should buy yourself a Volkswagen Jetta. Call it a day. Be a true Mexican. Everybody loves <laughs> Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I thought. Hold on, I thought it was a true you know, Mexican. So if I don't have a Volkswagen Jetta, which one is a Volkswagen Jetta? It's a Volkswagen. Oh, it's Jetta. a Jetta. Uh, it's like you can seat five, so it covers your Lyft Uber needs automatically. Plus, it has the trunk in the back, so that covers your delivery packages because you can just put the food in the back. What does it look like? Is it stupid? No. Just regular car. No suspicious. No suspicious. Volkswagen Jetta. That's such a specific um, car. It is. You know, you fit right in. Fit right in with who? With, with the other Mexicans. Is that what they drive? Is this a thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah actually, Volkswagen is. Because they're making them down in Mexico, too. Oh. So it's going to be Mexico. That's such a, that's such a weird thing to notice, because... The Mexicans I don't know. The Mexicans I know don't. Jesus Christ, speaking is hard. Sometimes. Yeah. You see it, especially like uh, MK6 Jetta, mm-hmm. which is like 2011 to 2018. You can find one for like 5K. Oh. Uh. And you know, it could be like. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start looking for Mexicans in these cars, and they better fucking be there. Yo, they'll always be there. Do you only know two people? That that ain't Honda <laughs> that, that, Civics, that. huh? That ain't Honda Civics. You guys love them. Honda Civics rule. Bro. Oh no, no 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 no! You also love the F-150s. I don't know why. I don't know what that is. The Ford, the pickup trucks. I mean. A lot of people like Ford pickup trucks. I feel like a lot of construction people like Ford pickup trucks. That's like what they drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah but also... Fucking who, racist. This fucking guy over Super here. racist, right? But also some Mexicans out of nowhere, too. They lowered them, too, man. So it's not like you can what use this as a truck. Where are these <laughs> Mexicans, bro? Like I feel like I never see them. But Because you don't hang out in the car places, man. You gotta, gotta go hang out in the car meets. And the car meets. Oh, uh, are you going off a of fucking uh, Fast and the Furious? No, I'm going off my own experience. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, so then fucking ask them. Don't ask me, man. I don't fucking know. Like, why, why do why do they drive these? I don't know. 
Maybe they're cool. I don't know. I don't know. You're asking the wrong it's guy. It's a big, big truck. Okay. I, I still don't know what they look like. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, can you hit me up with another brew, por favor? It's your turn, bro. I did it last time. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta be equals up with this bitch. Yeah, I know, but I'm all the way over here. That thing is all <laughs> the way over there. Yeah, you go for a walk. Wait, so <laughs> you're one of those people where you got vaccinated, no mask time now? What do you mean, no mask? I can wear a mask. I still wear a mask. Wear at work? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm like, I'm just, you know, like if I go to a restaurant and shit, I still wear it. Any weird growths on your body from the vaccine? Growths? Yeah, you know, like a third penis or some shit. <laughs> a third? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, I told you I had two. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Uh, two, two penis. Two penis Davis, what they call me. <laughs> two. Um, no, two no. PD. <laughs> two PD. <laughs> two PD. Two PD. Like Yo, it. from now on, actually, that's what we <laughs> call you. <huh? laughs> two PD. Two PD. Um, <laughs> no, no, no side effects, bro. It's just, you know, like it felt like a little bruise. Huh? Good. How's your ankle? This motherfucker fell. Oh, yeah. Because nah, again, he doesn't know the dimensions of his body. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I'm, t- I'm a little top heavy. You know, so like I don't know. Wait, so you weren't running today after like what five days after spraining your ankle? No, a week. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't go hard, but like, gotta get this motherfucker back going. You can't be, can't be being a bitch. Yeah, that's true, you man. Know, gotta, oh, really, wait, come on. Like, like, like it's, it's still, it looks like a very slight. I thought you were rushing me for fucking getting beer, so I was like, hey, yeah, one sec. What? Because you said, oh, really, come on. And I was oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> like, yo, don't rush me, damn. <laughs> Hurry the fuck up, bro. I will, I will. Yo. <laughs> you know what's the weird part, man? When you meet them northern Mexicans and they're white as fuck. That's not, it's, I mean, it's regular. I'm cultured, you know. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> it's like, Clearly, what? yeah, you, the, the white man, you know, it's your fault. You can't, you can't think, you, you know. No, no, we're just too used to conquering. Conquering? Yeah, except China. We couldn't get that shit together. So I don't know so, what happened there. <laughs> so you failed at the thing you say you're good at. It's all right, bro. Listen, you know, don't worry about well, well, what was that saying? What was that saying? Sucking at something is the first step of being good at something. <laughs> We're getting know. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's. I see. It. Barf. Who was that? That was that weird dog with the person. It's a whole cartoon show. A uh, Clifford. No, not not Clifford. It's like um, um, it's a weird dog with a weird. Ah, uh, monsters. Huh? Courage the cowardly dog. No, 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 no. And beat him up a cat. Courage uh, the cowardly dog. That's a different one. That's where the people had no tops. They were just legs. No. Yeah, remember? Courage? No, he had he had a, a the grandma and the grandpa. Yeah. They were only legs. No, they weren't. They were people. You could see their face. Yeah, he had a distinct face. Oh, shit, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cow and chicken was the one where they were only legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cow and chicken. That was, an, that was another chicken. good one. Hell yeah. Um, shit. Old school, man. Yeah. You know, you know which one I never... I like, I liked some of the episodes, but I, uh, I never got super into was Ren and Stimpy. Like, I liked Ren and Stimpy. But not as not as much as fucking like I would say courage to cowardly dog, and that was another one that I didn't watch that much. But uh, cow and chicken, that one was a good one. Thank you, sir. No problem, man. I don't know which one it is. Salute. Salute. It was a good call with the beers. For real? Yeah. By the way, we, we ain't having no wine today. Yeah, we're not having no wines. What we are enjoying a 
Guinness. Yes. Guinness. Any stressed out. Any store shall have it. Oh, I had this like really dope beer yesterday. Um, shit. There was a picture of a ninja and a unicorn on the on the cover, and it was like really really dope. Um, I have. I to think be it was some, called Ninja Unicorn. I'm just gonna go with that. Some of them beers, delicious. some of them beers, can getting ridiculous with the labels, man. Yo, it's fucking great though. I think ridiculous. But the, it was a good beer. Oh yeah, 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 you know, and and it's funny because I'm very skeptical about wines, wines that are like a really pre-label, I and my, like they tend to suck. Like you know, I, which another wine I'm not good, I'm not that into. Fucking Nineteen Crimes. Like I think it's a good wine. Uh, I thought that sucked. Is. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I don't like it. Um, what was the other one? And another one that we I think we had it here. The one with like the. I learned that I like even though I like bourbons, I don't like red wines that are produced in bourbon barrels. Cause they, oh, taste, they, they tend they to be heavier. Yeah. yeah. Not only do they taste they they're heavier. Like I don't mind me a heavy cab, but like they have these like hints of bourbon and it's almost like drinking whiskey a shot of whiskey and chasing it with wine. Ugh. You know? Yeah. So it's like I don't want to do that. Uh, the next one that I've been trying to bring here. But my liquor store stopped carrying it for some reason. For some reason, it's called the Pessimist. It's a red blend. And holy fucking shit. It's about like 20 bucks a bottle, dude. But it's the best $20 you can spend on a red wine with that type of taste. Full body with slight hint of fruits at the end. Like very, very little fruit at the end. So it's like drinking a cab, but with the finish of a Merlot in a way like that. I was like, holy shit. Pessimist cab. Pessimist. No, no, it's Red Blend. Red Blend. And I don't even know what type of wines, uh, what type uh, of grapes Red they use. Red blends be on point. Yo, some I of them know. are just killers. Yeah, like bro. some of them are actually better than Cabernets. Yeah. Better than like. Like the French knew what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> you know. Exactly. Yo yo yo! All right, cheers, everybody. Salut. So May fifteenth. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. That's it, man. That's it. I'm actually looking too, man. Fucking had an interview today. Really? Mm-hmm. Where? Some company. I don't know. I didn't like them. Like, I don't like it when they say there's only one person that does all the work, and I'm like, hey. That's what? not, what yeah. That, what does that mean? It's a small company. So, I don't know. I I, I want to say that it's, they're low on revenue. They're not like something that I was looking for. Okay. I need a b- bit of a bigger team. I need to learn from like two people. And I really want to do a bit more of a, traditional accounting role Hmm. we'll see what happens but like it was very funny because they were explaining to me the job and everything and about the company and it's a very small company and i think that's like they've been around for a long long time so that's why i don't like you know, you've been if you have been around the nineteen nineties, late nineties, and you still haven't hit a billion. Mm. It's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> you know, like I understand if you're like two years old and you have a hundred million dollars of revenue. Okay, yeah, count me in. I'm but down. They have, but they hadn't grown. It's like yeah. Damn. It's like, eh, no. 
Maybe maybe they were not down a down slide. Maybe they've been up there, but then they made a bad investment. No, 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 no. no. It was, like I actually looked into the company. And it's it's been the same shit for like 20, 30 years now. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe not the choice I want to do. Not not the way I want to go. I really I was really looking towards like startups mm. that have fresh money. Fresh money. Fresh money, man. That's that's where it's at. It's fresh, fresh. How do you get fresh, fresh. money? God only knows. I don't know. I'm trying to figure that man. out for the like a stop blues. So bitch running away from me. It's like, how do we get money in here? Because we definitely need a little bit of a better we setup. Go to the bank, just bring some cash. Oh, yeah, man, it'll, be here, it'll be here. I got you, bro. <laughs> I wish I was that rich. But yeah, like things are happening, ladies and gentlemen. Soon, you know, some sometimes in December we'll probably have Make a moves. slightly different studio with better equipment, like computers and shit. Which is like random computers everywhere. <laughs> just random, <laughs> just random screens. <laughs> no, it's like a laptop there. Another one on the floor. No, we, we can actually <laughs> pull a green screen. And while we laptops? No, 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 a green screen. No, I know, with a bunch of laptops on it. No, I was thinking. You said Mac computer, so I want computers everywhere now. Like a monitor here, another monitor here. We can make that happen. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good idea. It's not going to cost a lot either. That's ours. I left it here. Oh, shit. That's my camera stand. <laughs> Take your camera stick back, son. <laughs> yeah. How'd you leave it? I don't know, I don't know man. I'm pretty sure that's mine because I haven't seen it at home. I was looking for it. Then it's yours. Um, I'm gonna take it if I have. If I find the other one, I'll bring it back. Exactly. But I'm pretty sure, already, man. You saw it live here. In the liquor store. I'm gonna steal. Oh man. Well, who's stealing what? We ain't stealing shit. No, just in case that's not mine. But I'm, I'm thinking today, anyway. making an hour and a half. Because we're paying them for about that time. Oh, yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have like 10, 15 more minutes to 10, talk about 15. shit. Have but you ever yeah. stolen anything? Of course. What's the biggest thing you've ever stolen? Like monetary wise or monetary wise cash? Um, Item wise, a car wheel. Car wheel? Yeah. <clears throat> like. The cash was from my grandparents. When I was young and dumb. At the ripe age of, I think, eight. <laughs> Some shit like that. Eight or nine. Probably around that. <clears throat> the car wheel. In the Bronx. About a decade ago, I had fucked up my boy's wheel while drifting. And he was like, I don't care about nothing. I just want my, my shit fixed. So I drove through the night, through the Bronx, looking for the exact same wheel. <laughs> and I found it. What? Not only that, so what happened is that I hit a curb while drifting, mm. and it chipped a big piece of his rim, but the wheel stayed intact. Mm -hmm. So the the tire still held pressure and all that shit. So me and my boy Mark, like I call first, I call Hamster up, mm -hmm. and Hamster is like, "Nah, fuck you, <laughs> I ain't coming." I'm like, "All right, fuck you." Call my boy Mark up. He's like, all right, I'm down way at him. Like, just come outside your building. You'll see my car over there. We went. We took that a good wheel off. We put the fucked up wheel on. The fucked up rim. So basically, we just swapped it. <laughs> <laughs> at like 2 o'clock at night. Under the Ford train. In the Bronx. 
and Mark was my lookout <laughs> Wow, I was changing the tire. Now Mark and I can change the tire in under two and a half minutes. What? Like, yeah, yeah, we actually timed ourselves so because that's fucking odd. That's a dope. Because him time. and I used to cut high school a lot, and he used to go to the movie theater. Because a, a friend of mine used to work in the New Show. What was that New Show? Oh, New Rock. New Rock. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So he used to work at New Rock back in the day when there was like the ice skating ring, ring and the laser tag. Remember the laser tag? I remember the ice skating ring. So the laser. He was in the laser tag, mm. and he would used to give me just fucking cards. Full of cash, like hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Like here, yeah, play video games. Go fuck yourself. That's fucking awesome. That's fucking so, dope. Mark and I used to. One day we were going towards the movie theater. We had a flat, and I was like, "All right, dude, let's time ourselves. How how fast we can do it." We from stopping. Right, so we stopped. We put the timer on. From stopping to going, five minutes. Damn. Fucking, while he's unlocking the tire, I'm already on the on the lift, mm-hmm. d- putting the car up. Yeah. I mean, not, not on the lift, sorry. On the, uh, the, on the boats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, loosening them up, put the car up, boom, boom. While I'm doing that, he's putting the, the, the bad tire back in. Mm-hmm. Done. I'm telling you, we fucking took that fucking car tire in less than three minutes. Shit. And we bounced. We put it back on Arthur's car. <laughs> we were like, yo, you're good. We're good. Peace. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what the, 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 even the funny part of that story is? Mark is the one who made me drift it on that corner. I didn't want to drift it. And he was like, come on, drive it. <laughs> So it's my boy, man. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That was fucking great. Oh man, how's he doing? He's good. He's down in Miami now. Nice. Um, yeah, he no became a personal trainer. Has videos up. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. How about him? Uh, Instagram is not Mark Z. Not Mark Z. Hell yeah. And you see, he has like stretch videos. He has kettlebell videos. Is your brother now? He's cut. Nice. He never got big. Mm. He's cut though. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he was like a skinny dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still skinny. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. He was. He was cool. But he's cut now. No, he's mad. Uh, very nice guy. He's doing good down there. I mean, I don't know, man. I was thinking about Florida myself too, and then, to be honest, fuck that state. I checked out Florida. Nah, dude. Like the second I checked them out, I was like, oh no. Oh no! So, do you know? Oh, Florida. Do you know that? In order to get unemployment in Florida, it's the equivalent of gold medal in the Olympics. That's how hard it is. Because you go to Florida to work, bro. Come on, use your mind. Like, what are you, an idiot? Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody in Florida is. Unemployed. unemployed. Everybody working. Everybody working. And you just, you, like, it, it's like one of those things, you know, like um, I've never done them because I, the, the jump rope, uh-huh. you know, and then when they start doing the little jump in, they're about to jump in. It's like that's what it is, is going to Florida, you know. You're going to oh, jump yeah. in, motherfucker. You better ah, get to work. <laughs> get to work. Get the Ain't next no free movie. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's hilarious. Oh, I, I was so. thinking, man, I was thinking about fucking Tampa. Tampa, Tampa's cool. Tampa, and then I saw what was going on down there, and like, I was like, you know what? If I was a millionaire, yeah. It's funny. Um, I'm a I went thousand to, I went years, to Tampa so what, no. twice, but it was part of work, so like, it's not like I was I got to chill or nothing. Uh huh. I mean, like, I went to a hotel and just fucking hung out. It's, it's nice. It was nice days. I was thinking about poker, man. Like, poker? Poker, yeah. We're in Florida. Yeah, I'm decent at it. Around my birthday, I had signed up for this tournament and I made it to the final table into the money. <sighs> so, why not, you know? You should you should uh, reach out to my homie or fucking. Uh, um, Steve. Steve, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I actually do want to. No, for real. I want him to teach me how to deal. Because that's a great side hustle, dude. Oh, my God. In a casino somewhere? Uh, what? I don't know. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Yeah. Quick with your hands and shit, you know? Mm-hmm. You know? You're already an accountant, so you could, like, be counting. The exactly. counts. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Like, I'll be playing poker for free and getting paid for it. Yeah. Because if I had, like, I'll be thinking, like, if I had a hand. Yeah, because that's also a thing I keep thinking about. It's like, a lot of shit is, like, going to reopen. You know, a lot of... A lot of Places what do you think about people. New York City, man? I think New York City is toast. With what? What do you mean? I don't think anybody's going to come back. To New York City? Yeah. Why? What's wrong with New York City? It's dirty as fuck. What, what do you mean? This, Dude, this the, all my friends that moved out don't want to come back. Everybody that moved out <laughs> during the pandemic does not want to come back to New York City. Is it? Is it, like, is it like desolate now? Like what's, what's the deal? I haven't, been, I haven't been to the city in fucking... See, <laughs> that's my point. No, but see, for me, like now hearing that, that the city is not that packed, I want to go back. It's <laughs> not packed at all. But what like drove what drove them away? Fucking pandemic. The fact that if you cough on somebody, you might die. Or if they cough on you, you might die. Mm. Plus probably all the, especially with the, way, with the the way the Asian people are treated right now, like it's insane. And the NYPD ain't doing shit. Dude, the NYPD is actually not what, working. What, like, did Asians leave New York? Was that, is I that don't it? know about that, but I can tell you one thing. The NYPD is not working. Like, dude, there's so many areas around the city. Around like, like my give me an example. Like, well, yeah, like, yeah what's so I'll tell you. Around my neighborhood. Motherfucker makes a turn on red in front of a cop that's in a car. Thousand bucks, at all. Fucking blocking hi- fire hydrants. Everyday thing now. Everybody parks everywhere. No tickets except me. <laughs> um. I think they have on the ticket machine like gray, white. Okay. <laughs> I mean, could it be that you're only noticing when you get the tickets and not when they get the tickets? Dude, like, nobody. I it? walk. Like, I have to park there. So, I go. Like, I go to move my car. Perfect example. I go to move my car at 7.30 in the morning. Mm. I look for a parking spot for about an hour. The cleaning is from 8.30 until 10. It's an hour and a half. I don't know what I, I was off that day. I go out at nine thirty. The same car is parked in the same spot. No tickets. I call three one one. Alternate side parking is in effect today, which means that they have to move the cars in the. Just nobody enforces anything no more. Like, mm. it's so weird. It's I, I I never thought I would say it. I miss them enforcing shit in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> like I really do. <laughs> right. Oh man. Dude, like I, I don't know if you've seen them or if you have them. Those motorcycles with uh dirt bikes without license plates on. And they ride like fifty, sixty in a group. Dude what? constant occurrence in the city. What? Yeah. Motorbikes that fits how many people? No, 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 it doesn't fit it. A group of motorcycles, no license plates, dirt bikes. Oh, okay. No license plates, no nothing. Through the city, through where we live. Roaming, sidewalk, no matter. Are you serious? Oh, I have to show a video. Yeah, yeah. Do they run red lights? Like they stop traffic to to pass. (laughs) That's fucked up. (laughs) <laughs> Yo, it's, it's it's about to be like Warriors. You yeah. Know, like warriors. Warriors, come out and play. <laughs> All right, let's wrap that motherfucker up. All right. Peace, everybody. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us once again. Once again, Liquor Store Blues. Blues. Peace.